another episode of Everywhere You Are. I'm your host, Erica Santos, and behind me is the Hester Street Fair in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. This has been going on for years. They do everything from handmade jewelry to specialty foods, so we're going to experience it today. Hopefully, we'll get some good interviews, and if we don't, we'll get some good footage and some, some cool pictures, and maybe I'll even get some free food. I know you'd be a little bit jealous, but hey, come to the territory, so stay tuned. Since I was a kid, my grandfather called me Mook. Everybody in my family, all my friends, everybody in the industry that I know just knows me. All right, so now that we're all Mark's friends, we're going to start calling him Mook as well. So, how long have you been at the Hesky Fair? Is your first weekend? What's going on? This is our first day here. Oh, yeah, first day. We Newbie. Just, just, just started. Uh, I think we should be here throughout the summer. But. Okay, and what's your specialty? Well, sandwiches, actually. We do sandwiches. We're a sandwich shop. We do. We have a chicken and kimchi that most people go for. Okay, and what's and, uh, Explain, break it down for me. House-made house -made, uh, kimchi. We make a sauce out of lettuce that we puree with some may mayonnaise. It's a little sweet. And just a nice fried, fried chicken. So, it goes together. Chicken right. and kimchi. Uh, we do a fish sandwich that everyone seems to love. I'm getting hungry already. So, and then we're Mark slash Mook already has us hungry out there. Doing the tacos actually for Taco Tuesday. Okay. We thought it was a nice, it's a little cheesy, but it's a good thing to have for the neighborhood. We all like that. You know. So do you guys have a storefront or what's the deal? You do pop-up events? Yeah. Okay. And why don't you tell the audience where you're at? We're at 23rd between 2nd and 3rd. And what are your hours? Uh, we're open from, actually we're open from 8 to 9.30 right now. For the summer we should be opening up a little bit later soon. All right. So everyone out there, make sure that you uh, visit Mooks, even though this is Mark. And uh, try out, what is it? You said the Fish Tuesday? Taco Tuesday? Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Handmade fresh flour tortillas. So. Can't get any better than that. Well, everyone, that was the Hester Street Fair. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry we didn't get as many interviews, but we got plenty of great footage and photos. And uh, if you want to know more about the Hester Street Fair, go to www.hesterstreetfair.com. They're here every Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 6 p.m. until October 26th. Check it out. You just saw us at the Hester Street Fair. That's right, you're getting a two for one in the episode. That's what we like to bring you guys. So make sure that you follow us in and stay tuned because we have plenty to show you. We're here with Julia and she has, and this is very, it's a tongue twister, Little Chalk Apothecary. I got it! <laughs> Tell us about, well, what a little bit about yourself.
audience again what this is because it looks delicious. Obviously, you guys saw what, how she was putting it down. So this is a, a spell flour crepe with uh, banana and homemade vegan Nutella. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm eating this by it. hand. Yeah, and just go nuts. This get is my dirty. first time doing this, so let's check it out. I'm pretty sure it's delicious. All right. All right. Why are they doing? That's awesome. So are you, Julia? This is delicious. Say the name of your company again for everyone out there and tell them to come visit you in the Brooklyn Hot Market. Little Chalk Apothecary and come visit. We're in Atlantic Avenue between Franklin and Classics. Look at that. So make sure you come see her. She's gorgeous. So even if you hate the food, which you won't, you're going to love her. We started this market because we wanted a kind of like a local thing for a lot of smaller businesses in Brooklyn. Um, so it just came about where as we were looking for space, we kind of saw this spot and we're like, this is good. There's a lot of people in around this area. It's a growing and thriving area. So we figured we'd just set up here and we just keep growing from here. So we just really want to like, you know, serve a lot of small businesses in the community. All right, and you guys are running until when? running until October 26 actually but we'll actually be going indoors um, so we'll be all year round kind of market we've got Rich here and he has Sunday's best barbecue and he's gonna tell us about Sunday's best of course and then he's gonna give us a little treat here well he's gonna give me a treat and all you guys can be jealous and watch me eat the treats so tell us about yourself and Sunday's Best and how this all came to to fruition. Well, I've always been a big cook. I mean, growing up out in Oklahoma, spending summers out in Oklahoma, North Carolina, California, having a lot of family members always cook as you know, it's a big competition thing. So, you know, being always being the, the, the runner in the kitchen, being the youngest, um, in the in the in my mo my mother's the youngest of eight, so I was the baby, so everybody loved me basically. So I was always the one pointed to go get this, to do that, and at the same time, I learned and watched and you know picked up certain things things here and there and like I said with this big family I've come from it's like a, it was like a competition it was like if I got if someone got caught using certain ingredients that they normally didn't use it could start a fight at a reunion it was crazy we understand that I, yeah, I, so, I get that so what you got going on here because I see some bigger jars some, some smaller ones so well, yeah, I mean, you don't have to tell us the ingredients but we just want to know what you got going on here. well basically it's just a recipe that um, just I kind of just developed over the years you know you see things you hear things and I'd even call my man is who I call the man he's uh, my uncle Leonard out in, in Dallas okay. and there were some things I felt like was missing and of course you, he will never give you anything so I got to talk yeah. the route about way to try to get this yeah, information to, to out get, of him so I got it out of him and then you know it just kind of came about it's certain just, just a lot so of it was it. trial and error yeah it basically um but I perfected it over time. I mean, I had my own stuff. There was just little things that missed. So once I got that information from him, I, it was it was it. That was it. So okay, so let's do some taste testing. Yeah, then. which one you want to so, try? Okay. Well, you got to tell me about which ones you have here, just quickly, just say. We have the hot and mild. Oh well, I like hot, but okay. I'll try mild as well. Okay. So let's. The hot is to your right. All right, so I'm just dipping a piece of bread in here. Yes. All right. Let's hope my eyes don't completely tear up. This. I'm sure it's delicious. It smells good too. That's not hot enough for me. I was waiting for like fire. No, I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> no, actually, that's really, really good. Thank I like you. that a lot. Thank you. So, I was waiting to like breathe fire, but it's good. I like it. I've got a little kick back here. But that's my thing. It's like, you know, you put that heat on it and you can't really enjoy it. Everybody's not so that. So, you gotta tame it just so, a yeah. little bit. But I will tell you this the more you eat, the hotter it's gonna get. So, it's gonna keep heating up. So, so that means that I'm just gonna eating. have to completely drink this cup. Maybe. All right. Trust me. I really like this. And um, so, do you have a site? Yes, I do. Sunday's Best, Sunday's Best BBQ.com. And go there. You can order the sauces. We have several sizes. I have the tabletop four ounces right here. These are also the pints right here. And we have the pints right here. And then this is the quart. Usually, this one goes, you know, online. That one's kind of a. A novelty people who had it before they always they wanted They'll more yeah so they feel like you know we needed more bigger jars so I come with that one but I can I can dig the money in the bigger jar yeah right? see, I got it because what is, it's Sunday's best Rich thank you very much for being on there you. you are tell the fans out there bye 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 guys come and see us we love you
everyone, we're finally at Chiquita here. Yes, that is her real name. <laughs> and she is the author of Just Because. Yes. Tell us about your book. What do you got going on here? You said it's dedicated to your son? It is. So he's pretty special, I guess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So why don't we show them the okay. book? Just Because. And what's your son's name? His name is Chinua. Chinua? Yes, which so, means God's own blessing. I like that. Yes. So we're going to talk about your idea for this book. Obviously, it's for your son. What it's about a little bit, and then we'll talk about where to find you. Okay. All right, so great. we can put this down. That's okay, everyone. We don't, you guys have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about how long this took you to get this book in place, what it's about. Okay. Well, this is my first book, and actually, it started off, thank you. It started off as a poem. Okay. A one-page poem. I wanted to write something about my family. So I said, you know, what better way than to express love and doing it just because. So it's talking about a family getting together for great reasons or no reasons at all. Just to like hanging out, want to have fun. Somebody felt like cooking. Another person came home from college and wanted a free meal. You know, all that kind of fun. Uh, so yeah. family traditions that, that keeps the family alive and going. After I had my son, he was eight months old, trying to look at a book like this. <laughs> I said, I know what I want to do for him. And so it became a pursuit. Of, of writing a book for him. I like that. So, yeah. so I'm sure you have a website. So why don't you tell everyone what your website is so that they can find out more about you and order this lucky book. Okay. Well, either my website or on Facebook. Both are Chiquita Camille. So the website is ChiquitaCamille.com and the Facebook is Chiquita Camille. And you'll see the picture of Just Because all over. So. And I'm, and I'm really feeling your vibe. Yep. So Thank I'm you. sure everyone else will really feel this <laughs> as well. So tell all the fans out there of everywhere you are. Hi. Hi. There's a rule, there's a rhyme, move along and the rest will follow.